and is cut the Mount of Olives, uh, Seventh Day Adventist Church in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, we all know that yesterday there were some members of, of this church of Mount Olives. If you are here today, may you just show that you are here, members of um, Mount of Olives, we welcome you today. If you are here, we are happy that you are here. But I want to have a mention of some two pastors who have decided to join. You know, you know when you have, when you work with a team, you support one another in this work. There are two pastors also from New York. We have decided that today they will come and support their own and also just be with us. Pastor Clifford Money, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it well, and pa Pastor Bolo. If you are here, may you just open your cameras. We are you here? Pastor Clifford Manny and Pastor Bolo, if they are not here, we know they are going to join us at some point. Welcome to you. Uh, you are in the right place. This is um, the, the ministry, the mountain of prayer, uh, the virtual prayer ministries that is now grown big to cover the whole world. We are truly thankful of your presence. Um, and you can know that these pastors are in New York where it's 11 p.m. It's Sunday, 11 p.m. where they are. So without wasting time, I would like now to hand over to, to our pastor. I know he's, think, he's speaking on the theme. The main theme of the week is our victorious Christ. And, and Pastor, this is your time. May we hear you thunder. May God thunder through you once again this morning as you give us the blessed hope. Amen. I hand over to you, Pastor. Amen. 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 We thank God for the power of the Spirit in our midst. Uh, we thank Jesus Christ for leading the ship of Zion uh, to the blissful shore. Uh, we want to uh, pray for... Christ, the Savior of the world. We recognize that the enemy is strong, but you are mighty. And because of that, we do not panic, even in the storm of life, because you are there with us to save us. We pray that you will make us stronger as we hear your word and go through prayers, that we will be stronger and stronger and victorious in Christ against the forces of evil and against spiritual wickedness in high places all around us. And we know that, Lord, in the end, when you shall come, we shall be numbered among the saints to go home with you. Bless us this morning by your grace and feed us with the word of life. In Jesus' name, amen. So our theme for the week, our victorious Christ, our victorious Christ. And that is to say that the storm may be raging in your life, but our Christ is victorious. Our Christ, our Savior, is victorious. Uh, so yesterday we said, don't panic. Peace, be still. Our Christ is victorious, so don't panic in the storm of life. Jesus has won the victory. Uh, but to, to, today, uh, our emphasis, uh, the topic, so the theme is our victorious Christ, but the topic, the subtopic is no demon can capsize Jesus' boat. So peace, be still, <laughs> calm down. No demon can capsize Jesus' boat, the boat in which the master lies. So peace, be still. And our, our motto, our slogan, is and you can say it wherever you are and at this point if you you will unmute and and just respond that's beautiful because we are claiming the victory so i'm going to say jesus you say victorious and i'm going to say jesus you're going to say victorious and i'm going to say satan you say defeated and then when i say satan you say he's going down <laughs> let's do that uh jesus victorious, victorious. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus. Victoria. Uh, what about what about Satan? Satan. Satan. The last one, Satan. 
is going down, 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 down. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes, uh, I want to welcome everyone uh, as we go over our message uh, this morning. And it's from Luke. Uh, it's from Luke chapter 8, 22 to 25. Uh, but I'm going to read part of it and then read part of uh, Mark. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased. And there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? <laughs> Where is your faith? And Mark 4, 32 to uh, 38 to 40 and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on the pillow and they awoke uh, awake him and, and say unto him master carest thou not that we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm and he said unto them why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Ah, the disciples, heeding the word of Jesus, got into the boat, obeyed the commands of Christ. Jesus, being exhausted, he had worked all day, tired, being exhausted, fell asleep. And the devil, seizing the opportunity, tried to drown them all. Having obeyed the voice of the master to get into the boat, we expect, we expect a smooth sailing, smooth and easy sailing, but not so. Bible says there was a storm so powerful their lives were in jeopardy. But the master was asleep in the boat on the raging sea and the disciples were frantic and did not know what to do. Is that not what we do? frantic not knowing what to do and we try to save ourselves and we do everything and when it doesn't work we call on the master but thank god master is merciful when the disciples could not save themselves they cried to the master save us the bible says master rose from his sleep rebuked the wind and the sea and they ceased and there was a calm but but here is where we're going to raise our question uh, 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 master, master also rebuked his apostles, his disciples. Where is your faith? Why are you so fearful? So this week we are probing the question, why is the master rebuking his frustrated disciples who had just had a near-death experience? Why is Jesus questioning his disciples' faith? Ah, lesson number two. Lesson number two, Jesus rebuked his disciples to challenge our faith because Jesus wants his disciples to know us, we today, to know that no demon or water can capsize or swallow the boat where lies the master of ocean, earth, and sky. No, sir. It won't happen. Oh yes, in the storm of life, sometimes it feels like Jesus is asleep in your boat. And everything that can go wrong is going wrong, and the child of God doesn't know what to do. Oh yes, we go through that sometimes. Do I have a witness on the Zoom? Like Jesus is sleeping in your boat even right now, and you don't know what to do. Do I have a witness right here? Ah, well, I have news for you. Jesus may be sleeping in your boat, but be rest assured. He's got the whole world in his hands. And he has never lost control. So in a storm of life, don't focus, don't focus on the storm around you uh, uh, and forget Jesus. 
focus on Jesus. When you focus on the trouble, you lose sight of Christ uh, 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 and your faith weakens. When you focus on Christ, your faith increases and you gain power over your troubles. Faith and fear are opposite end of our Christian lives. Faith and fear. Faith and fear are opposite ends of our Christian lives. The more faith you exercise, exercise. Act on God's word. Act on God's promises as exercising faith. You take God at his word. Act on it. That's where power comes from. The power comes from obeying the word of God. The miracle is in the obedience. The more faith you exercise, the less power fear has on you. And the more fearful you are, the less faith you exercise. And the key to, over, to overcome fear is assurance of Jesus in your life. I have to say that again. I have to say that again. The key, the key ah, to overcome fear, that's what the devil used to discourage us and to destroy us. Fear. And the key to overcome fear is assurance of Jesus in your life. Is Jesus in your life? Is Jesus in your vessel? Is Jesus the master in your boat? Oh, then don't panic. Don't panic. No demon is going to capsize the boat. Don't panic. Hear what the three Hebrew boys said. Oh, Cain, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. We are not afraid of your decree, oh, Cain. We will not bow down to your golden image. If it be so to put us in the fire, we are prepared to go in the fire. For our God, hallelujah somebody, our God whom we serve is able assurance of God in your life. Assurance of Jesus, the presence of, assurance of the presence of Jesus in your life. For our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand. Oh, Cain, uh, we know a God, hallelujah, somebody. We know a God, Adventist Church, Remnant Church. We know a God who is able to deliver from the fire. Uh, but, but if not, oh, somebody, somebody, somebody say amen. If not, see, that's the faith that uh, Christians of today don't seem to have. The if not faith. No, no, uh, 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 there's one thing to say, yeah, uh, we know a God who's going to save us, and so we're not going to bow down. Uh, but there's another thing all, uh, 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 entirely to say, if not, even if he does not deliver, we are not going to bow down to your image. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to stand for righteousness though the heavens fall. We, we know that we may die, but, but, but he has life. In himself jesus said i am the i am the life and the resurrection if any man die uh, 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 believing in me though he were dead yet shall he live if not we will not bow down we know a god who is able and then it happened they cast them into the fire but before they hit the bottom of the fire jesus was there to save them from the fire we know a god <laughs> We know a God who is able to deliver from the fire and the flood and the storm and the pandemic. So may the abiding presence of Jesus cast away your fears. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus sent the disciples into the boat not only to show them how to overcome fear, but to help develop confidence in his abiding presence. Is Jesus in your life? Don't panic. Is Jesus in your vessel? Then you are. Then, then, then why are you? Why are you? Then why are you so fearful? That's the question. Jesus is your life. Why are you so fearful? Have you lost sight of his presence in your life in the time of trouble? Brethren, no demon can capsize or water swallow the boat. Where lies the master of ocean, earth, and sky? Brother, Jesus is with his people. Jesus is with us. We will not perish. He said, 
upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of the living God of which you and I are members. What, what is the church? The church is you and I. So if he said the gate shall not prevail against the church, it's you and I. The, 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 the gate shall not prevail against you and against me as long as we are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Have you forgotten his name who is with us? Bible says he shall be called Emmanuel, which is interpreted God with us. Jesus says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And that means, oh, brethren, are you ready? Are you ready? That means he's in the fire with you, in the flood with you, in the situation with you, in the marriage or oh, the marriage, in the marriage with you. He's in the home with you. In the frustration, yeah, frustration, he's there with you. He's in the school with you. Is in is in is in the South African economy with you. <laughs> He's in the pandemic with you. He's in the hospital with you. He's in the ICU with you. He doesn't he doesn't forsake you there. Oh yeah, he's in the ICU to give you oxygen. He's in the ventilator with you. In the surgery room with you. In the fire with you. In the flood with you. In the storm with you. Jesus is in the boat with you. And I say, no water or demon or whatever can drown the boat that carries the master of ocean, earth, and sky. He said, all power in heaven and in the earth is given unto me. All power. And that's why he could say unto us, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Jesus is victorious. The head of the serpent is crushed by the seed of the woman. If all power is given unto Jesus, what power is left for Satan? Answer me. If all power, brethren, he say some power. All power is given unto me. And if all power is given unto Jesus, then what power is left for Satan? Brethren, there is no real power left for Satan. He's like a snake whose head is crushed. What you see is, is just the wiggling of the tail. Oh, oh, what you see with the devil is just a wiggling of the tail. He is a dead devil walking. He is a dead devil walking. He has got no power. He has a fatal wound to the head. He is uh, uh, The devil is on life support. When God takes away his breath, the devil will cease to exist. Do you really think God would allow the devil to kill the Son of God sent to save mankind on a boat? The only, the only way uh, Satan can conquer you and, 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 and me is if he conquers Jesus. But you know he can't do that. Uh, but the devil is a liar. He is defeated. Our Jesus is victorious. Trust in God for his faithful that promised. Why are you so fearful? Why are you so fearful? But some Christians go through some, but no, no, no. What some Christians go through in Africa for spiritual security and assurance is alarming. In the time of crisis, uh, some Christians forget all about Jesus and resort to all kinds of traditional paganistic rituals and practices just to feel safe or make money or secure job they will go to malams and gurus and psychics and to the so-called prophets and juju priests for directions buying red eggs and purple oils and blue powders and green candles and black creams and holy waters and indian incense and talisman and handkerchiefs and they like to protect themselves like satan is afraid of water and colorful candles made by man place your confidence in jesus the storm may be raging in your life even right now but our jesus is victorious Victory, our victory is only in Jesus. Why are you so fearful? In a time of trouble, Jesus wants us to have faith in him as the Emmanuel, God with us. And be assured, rest assured, that everything will be all right. And even if we should die, we have assurance of, of his resurrection. So whatever storm of life you may be going through right now, 
Jesus assures you of his abiding presence. He says, Isaiah 40, verse 10, Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I promise you my very presence. Call on me in a time of trouble, and I will answer and save your soul. Brethren, God has promised his presence to be with us even unto the end of the age. And he's faithful who has promised. So trust him. Trust his promise to be with you and trust the promiser. Trust the promise, but trust the promiser, the one who promises faithful. Peter almost sank as he took his eyes off the master. But thank God when he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus reached out and saved him. Don't take your eyes off the master, no matter how severe the storm may be around you. You've got to know, what you've got to know is whether Jesus, the master, is in your boat. Is Jesus in your boat? Is the master in your boat? Is Jesus in your life? For with Jesus in the vessel, you can and you must and you shall smile at the storm. Because if Jesus is in your if Jesus is in your boat, let me tell you something. Flood can drown you. Fire can burn you. Devils can harm you. Disease can crush you. Death can kill you. Poverty can hush you. And troubles can stop you. The grave can hold you down. No demon can capsize Jesus' boat or Jesus' church. O oh, Jesus' child, for the gates of hell shall never prevail against the church of the living God. And that includes you as a member of the church of the living God. Why are you so fearful? Why don't you have faith? Is Jesus in your vessel? Then don't panic. Just smile at the storm. The song says, whether the wrath of the storm or the storm tall sea, or demons, or men, or whatever it be. No water can swallow the ship where lies the master of, o of ocean, earth, and skies. They all shall sweetly obey his will. Peace be still. So the storm may rage. Billows may toss high. The sky be overshadowed with blackness. But they shall all sweetly obey his will. In your life, peace be still peace be still so peace be still in your life in jesus name oh our victorious christ we have victory in christ so the storm may be raging in your life right now but our christ is victorious for no demon can capsize jesus boat of which you and i are on board so peace be still in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Peace, peace be still. Jesus is in my life, in my vessel, in my boat. What shall I fear? No need to panic. You know, when you hear this kind of messages, you can now understand why the slogan is say. Indeed, Jesus is victorious and Satan is going down. Thank you so much, uh, our pastor. Thank you for that word that comes from the throne room of grace. May you please just give us a short word of prayer before we move to our prayer breakaway rooms. Lord, thank you for your assurance, the assurance of your presence in our lives. That so far as you are in the vessel, you are in the boat with us. You are in our lives. No matter the severity of the, of, the, of the storm, if our eyes are on Jesus and we call on him that he is able to save us to the uttermost, that there should be no panic and that we will, be, we will know that no demon can defeat our Jesus. He is victorious. And we can claim that victory for our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Now it's time for us to go.